All right. So like I said in my introduction video, I am a certified sommelier through the Court of Master Sommeliers. Now I'm gonna tell you what this dude went through to become a level one Samalama Ding Dong. Uh, that is considered a level two, or, or just pass the test to allow himself to call himself that stupid title. When you pass your level one, you are supposedly not supposed to call yourself a sommelier. I took the level one in 2010, quite a while ago. He, he won't tell you, but he was broke as a joke back in 2010. It was, it was hard studying. In fact, he owed the electric company over $500. I was lucky enough to have a restaurant that did wine tastings together and a group of us went and took the two day course with the test at the end together. And that's exactly how much the test cost, just $500. Best case scenario is that you work for a company that already has a sommelier that you can use as a mentor so they can prepare you for that and the level two. He chose education over electricity and that they're willing to, to pay for your certification because it can get quite expensive. We're talking three months in the summer of this dude studying by candlelight, taking cold showers and not looking in the fridge because he knew that the maggots were getting after it. Not just paying for the test, but also the study materials needed to pass. Isn't that crazy? Could you imagine if he failed? No electricity, no certification. I guess still, even though he passed, he still didn't get a certification. He was just allowed to take the level two, but he's lucky he passed. Is that all true? Yes.